Hi folks, I'd like to show you a really quick demo of uh, how to do calculated fields with Epsona multi-step reports. So here's a, a really quick report that we'll put together. We click New, and let's call this a, an Opportunities Report. And let's add a step. And the first thing we'll do is get some opportunity records so that we can get the amounts and close dates and created dates and so on. So let's call them opportunities. Opportunities. Well, I misspelled it. Let's try that again. Uh, let's get it from the opportunity object. And let's pull in in the retrieved fields. Let's get the, um, let's say the close date, the amount, uh, the name. and the created date. Let's also say that uh, just to whittle down the, the opportunities we want, let's get just a few of them. Let's say we only want those that have close dates um, within the last couple quarters. And let's see what we get. Um, if we save and run this report, we got a few opportunities. So what we'll do now is add a couple of calculated fields to this report to show you how calculations happen. So let's edit this report. And we'll add a step. And when we do the second step, we'll call this, this step calculations. And we'll select calculations with formulas. And notice that when I do that, the label of this tab changes, and these tabs dim out. So if I go back to database object, you see that we'll go back to retrieved fields and filter terms and range and sort and so on. But when we're doing calculations, we're not interested in an object. We're actually creating calculated fields. So when we click the Calculated Fields tab, uh, we add a field. And let's call this uh, Commission. And let's say it's Currency. Its data type is currency. And what we want to calculate here is a commission to pay on the amount of the, um, of the opportunity for each one of these. And so we can insert a reference to the field. Notice that the, the list of fields here that are available uh, for use in the formula are basically fields from the previous steps. In this case, opportunity amount is available. We'll take that, and it shows up as a reference in the formula box down below. We'll make a really simple calculation. Let's say that we pay, we pay a 7.5% commission, so multiplied by 0 0.075, like that. And we save it. And we got a, a new field for, for commission available. Let's add another field. Let's call this the age of the opportunity, uh, and age in days, let's say. And this is a number. And what this is is the difference between the uh, created date and the close date in days. So let's take the uh, close date, add that there, and say dot days after. We are using a, a magic formula, a method on the date object that Epsona provides called days after. And let's say, let's call this the created date value. And we parenthesis there. And let's say we save this. And finally, we save and run this. And that's it. That's the data right there. You can see that we've got calculations available with commissions and the age and days. In, in this example, you see that the created date is 2013, but the close date is 2014. So we got 397 days for that. But the other three opportunities were closed on the same day that they were created. So they have zero as the creation date, as the, as the agent days. So that's a really quick demo. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, visit our website for more information. Thank you.